Did you can do it, Inspector! Chief Inspector. You can walk, Chief Inspector! You can walk! Yes, yes, you are a genius, boys. Heavens, fire, little girl. Yes, it's special delivery. Thank you. I'm sorry, I'm a little shocked. Forget it. Special delivery, a Ben. Were you expecting one? A Ben! Welcome everybody to the channel. If you're new, you're welcome. Welcome everybody to the channel. If you're new, you're welcome. Um, thanks for tuning in. Uh, just out of my motor today. Um, got a few jobs to do on it and stuff. And uh, a few jobs to do. Um, yeah, thanks again for all the new people. Obviously, subscribe to the channel. Thanks very much. What, um, what, uh, Today's about really is just a, an update really on the, coming up to the end of the month now. Obviously, there's nobody from the cabbage has come out to the to my premises or property. Um, that could happen next month. I could be getting another letter again shortly. Um, who knows? Um, this is what you have to do when you become license free, like expect to see. You have to expect these things might happen to you and. Um, who knows what's going to happen? I don't know. But as long as you know what happens on the front door, what you have to do on the front door. And of course, what you have to do on the front door, which I've said so many times on this occasion, um, and more so now because, as far as I know, I bet the BBC are going to be, because of the football situation, um, people going out and sort of watching football on the... On the uh, in the pub maybe, but at the same time people at home who are not paying for license, the BBC think, oh, we can catch people out whether you're watching or not, it's up to you. But I don't advocate that person. I'm not watching, I'm not paying. It's that simple, folks. But um, as I said, as long as you know what to do, the basic rules, if you knock on the door, you're not obliged to let them into your property whatsoever. You just say, no, thank you. Do not require license this address. That's all you need to remember, folks. As I've said so many times, I don't want to keep repeating it, but it's the main thing because without the evidence to get in the property and you're telling them anything, if you don't engage them, they're not going to get any evidence, which is what they need to make a prosecution. I just don't want to see anybody else get fined in this country unnecessary, as long as you know what to do. If you know what to do, that's why I'm here. This is what I'm doing this channel for, is to make sure that you do not get fined at your front door. That's what it's about. Things might change if, like I say, my friend Nigel gets in, into a good number of seats in the, and gets to become a effective um, um, opposition to the Labour and uh, probably the Conservatives will be wiped out or the Lib Dens might pick up more votes. And you never know what might happen in five years' time. Um, Nigel wants things to happen in, over a period of time. It's not going to happen overnight, as we know. So I think, folks, that as long as you know that, uh, if you vote for him, um, I'm, I'm changing my vote to them. I normally, normally vote Labour, but I am going to vote for Nigel. Um, because he's, he's, he's just what he says on the tin, and he's a more... It's a bit like, if you ever remember a comedian, which I love comedians, of course, he's not a comedian, he's a, he's a personality. Val, 
what's his name? Not, uh, uh, not Valdo, um, um, let me tell you a story. What was Italian story? Um, Max Max Bygraves. Uh, Max Bygraves. Yeah, he reminds me of Max Bygraves. You know, let's tell you a story. Yes. Well, once upon a time, there was two old men in deck chairs. You know, you know. Um, Max Bygraves was a great personality. One sadly missed now, of course. But Nigel Cum was on. He could, you can, you can, if you come on stage, Max Bygraves. He, 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 in a big stage, you could make the audience relax in five minutes, just like that. Whether you like him or not, you know, he just got that personality where you can tone down and relax and hear what he's got to say. And of course, if people do that, I mean, sometimes, obviously Nigel was a bit over the top, like everybody does, but as I said, that's what I think. So I said, let's tell you a story. Yes, yes, a story. Max Bygraves, sadly missed Max. Great Max, great. So I did say that it would be um, all documented here, whatever happens in the next few months. Uh, it's all going to be done documentation-wise, what happens to me personally. I can pass it on to you, and then you can figure out what yourself, what you want to do. If you want to become licensed-free like Inspector C, that's up to you. You know, I'm not forcing anybody to, but it's just, I don't watch, I don't watch him on pain, so I watch Catch Up, like I said, a channel like Chelly John's channel. All you need to know about uh, watching other channels, he's got great videos there, and um, was videos there where you can watch, it tells you a lot about what you can watch. I'm going to point that video out for it. So, like I said, this, this, and of course, eventually, in a say five years' time, in 2027, 2020, 2030, the terrestrial television will be a thing of the past. Like today, I, I'm not watching any television on my mum and dad, are, of course, but I mean, um, you know. The generation that they've got to appeal to is a different generation than they had 30 years ago. So anyway, folks, um, thanks again. Like I said, it was a big, you know, getting 30, over 30 people, 35 people joining my channel in one week is, is really, really nice. Or in this month, it's been a good month for people communicating, leaving comments that if I'm here, to help you, you know, you know, welcome the comments. I'll leave a comment, there's a thumbs up, hit the like, subscribe if you wish, It'd be a big help to my channel. As I said, I'm progressing a bit with a bit more people joining me on this on this channel, and I appreciate it. And thanks very, very much for um, all your um, likes and stuff, and uh, it's great. And uh, hopefully, um, we can keep on growing. And as I said, I don't want to see anybody get fined really when they do come to the front door. Let's stop people getting to court, getting to fine, fines, you know, for unnecessary things, you know, whichever way you're doing it. Uh, if you know what to do and know your rights, you ain't gonna go to court. And that's, that's the main thing I wanna try and stop. No more fines at the court in this country anyway. And of course, what you have to do on the front door, which I've said so many times on this occasion, um, and more so now because, as far as I know, I bet the BBC are going to be, because of the football situation, uh, people going out and sort of watching football on the, on the, uh, in the pub maybe, but at the same time, people at home who are not paying for license, the BBC think, oh, we can catch people out whether you're watching or not, it's up to you. But I don't advocate that person. I'm not watching, I'm not paying. It's that simple, folks. But um, as I said, as long as you know what to do, the basic rules, if you knock on the door, you're not obliged to let them into your property whatsoever. You just say, no, thank you. Do not require a license, this address. That's all you need to remember, folks, as I've said so many times. I don't want to keep repeating it, but it's the main thing because without the evidence to get in the property, and you're telling them anything, if you don't engage them, they're not going to get any evidence, which is what they need to make a prosecution. I just don't want to see anybody else get fined in this country. Unnecessary, as long as you know what to do. If you know what to do, that's why I'm here. This is what I'm doing this channel for, is to make sure that you do not get fined at your front door. That's what it's about.